One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Coming to you today with the old time and bluegrass song, June Apple in the key of A. I did this one for banjo a few weeks back. I thought it'd be fun to do a mandolin version as well. This song has an A part and a B part, and we're going to learn the basic A part, basic B part, and then a variation for each part. Very common to create variations on these fiddle tunes. It's a great way to learn to improvise. I know that's one thing that really helped me learn to improvise was learning how to create basic variations for fiddle tunes. So we'll learn that note for note, just like I played at the beginning of the video, and then we'll learn some backups. So how to do just the basic A, G, and D chord needed to play the song, but we'll learn it like three or four spots on the neck so you can maybe learn some new chord shapes you can use. All right, enough talking. Let's jump into June Apple in the key of A. Here we go. All right, so before we jump into the A part, let's just look at the scale that we're gonna use for this song. So it's a slightly modified version of the major scale the major scale would be, we're in the key of A major, you probably know that one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify that seventh note of the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna move it down a half step, flatten it to make it the flatted seventh note. And then we use the fifth fret, so we have It would technically be called the mixolydian mode. You don't have to remember that, but basically just remember that we're modifying that one note, we're making it a little bluesier. But we're using the major third here and we're not using a minor, so it's not A minor. We're still playing A major chord, but we're gonna flatten that seventh note of the scale. A lot of songs use that. Old Joe Clark is another one. There's a bunch of kind of bluegrass songs that, that use that mixolydian mode. And then down here it would be. All right, so that's the scale we're going to use. Let me play the first nine measures of the A part and you can hear how it sounds. I'm a little faster. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little pickup in measure one. I'm just doing a five seven slide with my ring finger of my left hand on the D string. And then I'm hitting the open A string down up and then open A. And then I'm gonna go up to the high E string and play open, and then third fret. So you have. It's basically just setting the tempo. That's all we're really doing there. You could also just play this as the pickup. We're just kind of using that slide and then the down up just to set the tempo a little bit more. 
probably easier to do it actually a little faster. So that's our pickup, and then the melody kind of starts in measure two, and we're gonna play this repeating pattern up on the high E string. Five, three, open, three. Those are the frets. And we actually play that twice. So we go. You just loop it. And I'm kind of accenting like the down strokes to start it. Just to give it like a little bit of an underlying rhythm. You could, you could accent it different ways, but that's just kind of like what I like to do. practice that and then we play in measure three a little response so we go down those notes one more time five three open on the high E string all down up picking for the first two measures and then up stroke on the A string fifth fret and then fourth fret back to the fifth fret open high E and then the second fret so you have You just loop that measure. Let's put two and three together. Here we go. So we have. Right here in measure three. Make sure this is an up stroke. Because you're going down, up, down, up, even though you're changing to a lower string. And then I also like to accent right here, kind of starts the next phrase. So that whole measure sounds like this. So I kind of accent, accent. Okay. And then we basically play, so that was over an A chord. And then measures four and five, we're gonna play over a G chord. And we're gonna play a similar melody line, kind of as that little repeating pattern we did. Now we're gonna go on the high E, three, two, open, two. So instead of five, three, open, three, now we're going three, two, open, two. And we play that twice, same thing. And then a little response, third fret, fifth fret, third fret, second fret, open. And then we're gonna play open three, which is our pickup to start it over. So we have, let's do four and five together. We have. Really important is keep this finger down when you play measure five. Right? Don't lift it up, it's gonna create more work. That's measure five on its own. Okay, so that's kind of the opening melody line. Let's play those first five measures. Let's do it slowly. So we, here we go. G chord. So you could you then you could loop it back into measure two if you wanted right there. part down you actually have a good section of the A part down then we repeat that line so that's the exact same as measure two five three open three the other thing you can do there that I might do occasionally is like drone with the A string you can add that low kind of octave thing if you want you wouldn't want to do it over the G chord but you can do it over the A it sounds cool you don't have to add it every time, you could start with it. Then like I said, we repeat it. And then right here we do something slightly different. We do five, three, open, fifth fret, upstroke A string, and then four, two, open, and then fourth fret on the D string now with an upstroke. That's good string changing practice we have.
practice getting your upstrokes and downstrokes to be the same volume at first. You can always accent later. Most people, including me, the upstrokes are quieter, so you have to practice kind of over exaggerating the upstrokes I found to get them to be the same volume. But it'll make your melody line sound a lot cleaner at first if you can get all those to be the same volume. That's measure seven, good practice looping it. And then measure eight, we go back to a G chord. And we're just gonna stay down here on the fifth fret of the D string and play. And then slide up. So I do fifth fret, and then five, open A string, second fret, open, fifth fret, D. So, so I'm doing, there is a little more complicated rhythm than what we've been playing. So we're going one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Most uh, the other measures have just been straight eighth notes the entire time, which is just kind of typical fiddle tune, a lot of eighth notes, that's good practice, right? So. And then you basically just keep this finger down and you slide up. And this is basically kind of what we played for the pickup. Except we're just gonna go. Which is what I call the bouncing technique where we're just bouncing one note higher in the scale. We're just with a little slide, very like a fiddle or mandolin way to end a phrase. Oftentimes we'll be on an upstroke. So we're going one and two and three. We go open three on the high E string to start it over. Okay, and that's where we'll play the eight part variation. So let's play that whole first nine measures. Here we go. One, two, 